Strike a pose. Do, do, do. Strike a pose. <laughs> I feel like a supermodel with this fan going. I'm like my hair fibers all out of my head, but. You give me fever. Never know how much I love you. Da da. Da da. Da da. Da da. Go dancing. Danielle! Like, Habibi, Habibi. No matter what you put together in my live streams, I have nothing to hide. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid of you, and I'm not afraid of your harem. And I'm and I'm going to pursue this to the full extent of the law. And if I lose, I lose, but I'm gonna fight. You okay? Yeah, I just I was just crying about peeing myself. Uh why do I look like a wrestler from the 80s? Ooh, he I like Tom Hiddleston. Tom Hiddleston can get it. I think that's bad! Why do I look like Peppermint Patty? I'm not like TLC show material, I'm more like Jerry Springer. TLC's like too wholesome. Hey Gauls, welcome back. Last we left Foodie Beauty, Chantal went to the police and Nader was arrested. People are like even questioning my motive, like it matters. Like, who cares? People saying shit like, you're just mad, you're just rejected lover and that's why you're doing this. My motive doesn't matter, his actions do exactly. I think Nader is a user and an abuser and he should be held accountable for his actions. I'm one of those people who think that, if Chantal is telling the truth, her motives doesn't matter. However, we should note that she is doing it out of spite, so anytime she says that she is trying to protect other women, she is lying. She is a victim, but not some kind of hero for saving women. Does that make sense, Gauls? But the right thing to do is, without a doubt, like, I don't know, I, of course I should have done it right away. I might lose this case because of the fact that I didn't, and what does rejection have to do with anything? Does that erase the fact that he fucking put his hands on me? Put his cigarette on me? Punched my body? Does that, does that, does that negate anything that happened, or what? Everything she said is true, none of those things justify him hitting her, or hurt her in any way. People are mad that she is pretending that she reported him because she wanted him to be punished for the abuse, when it is very clear to see that she did it because he has moved on to DD. He'd like to comment about starting a GoFundMe. I will report your GoFundMe. GoFundMe? For what? Matter El Shami has a right to anything. Any part of his, his woman that he won't even claim online, right? She keeps repeating this, she is insinuating that he sa her, she has said way back that he would not take no for an answer. And he convinced her, or coerced her to do sexual acts she didn't feel like doing. No matter what I've done online, no matter how many times I've farted, no matter how many times I've smoked weed, or taken edibles, or admitted to doing cocaine, doesn't excuse that he fucking hit me. Do you know how many dreams I've had about seeing him? How weird it is to not see him? Sometimes I smell him. I can't forget everything he did to me. I can't forget it. I don't want to ruin his life. But at the same time, he committed like serious crimes. And I'm just reporting them. And I think what hurts even more, actually, is he knows what he did and he's lying about it and denying it instead of being sorry. I don't understand why she has to come online and tell us she misses him. She has no game, lol. You can cry and dream about him all you want, but he can't know that. She shouldn't have said she is addicted to him or how much she loves him that made him manipulate her even more, lol. I miss him, but I hate myself for it because I, I don't understand why I do. It's not fair that he's the one who hurt me and I'm the one hurting. Chantal then decided to go to America and she was very happy and she was singing her favorite songs. Later on you will find out why she was happy. I'm in America eating McDonald's. We don't have this in Canada. Spicy, crispy chicken. Lame. I need some American dish. Sort of declined. Declined? Um, do you take Canadian cash? It was declined? What the hell? I have money on my credit card. I don't know why it was declined. Fuck, I don't know. Yes, she went to a whole another country for food, Lowell. She has done this before, too. Uh, I went all the way to the Canadian border, okay? I get there, and they're like, oh, did you sign into a Rive can? And do you have a rapid test? He's like, what, was there an urgent reason you came to the U.S., ma'am? I'm like, uh, just McDonald's. And the Health Canada guy was like, so either you go back to the U.S., they have to sell me, send me a package... They can't deny me entry because I'm Canadian. And I would need to pay a $5,000 fine in quarantine. I think I'm the saddest girl to ever be kicked out of Canada. Yes, I'm like actually not allowed back into Canada right now. <laughs> then she had to stay, and she was stuck in America. This proves how reckless she is, lol. People usually prepare and do research before traveling, but of course Chantal wouldn't bother doing all that. Like, for those of you who are in a really good relationship, you know you're so thankful for your other half. You're so thankful that you have somebody there with you that you can do life things with and get through life with. and somebody that you just trust completely and like you know and then the problem with me is 
I'm like my own worst enemy because at the same time, I want that wholesomeness. Like, I want that wholesomeness, but at the same time, it's so fucking boring. I saw a lot of people saying that she deserves better than Nader, and no one deserves to be abused, that's for sure. But Chanta loves the drama and the toxicity, she just admitted it. People warned her about Nader after their first date, and she said that she liked the toxicity. Just like realizing, like, it's really, 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 really done. I'm going through something else I can't tell you guys about. I'm not staying at the Quality Inn for 36 hours! I swear to God, if I don't get my results today at 6, I'm paying the $5,000 and I'm going home. I don't care. I don't have to pay for a man baby anymore. I will pay the $5,000 and I will go home. Then, Chantal went live and ranted about Nader then she deleted the video. It's not okay. She didn't give him permission to leave the house with me. Or actually talk to me because he can get in trouble. Well, here, I did it for you. I just outed you. You talk to me. Now what? No, she is mad at Debbie for stating facts. They aren't supposed to be in any contact with each other. So he gets Debbie to message me. Chantal, you know he can get in trouble. He can't answer your phone calls. But you can come over tomorrow and talk to him. Oh, thank you, Dee, for your fucking permission. I was talking to Debbie on Messenger. He's not supposed to see me or talk to me. I ended up going over there. And I'm so fucking stupid because I don't know. I just thought, oh, you just called the cops on him and fucking accused him of sexual assault and everything. Oh, yeah, you can just go back over there and fuck and just kick Dee Dee out and everything will be fucking normal. She is losing her mind. All of this isn't supposed to be online. And Dee Dee and Nader are stupid as hell for letting her go to his place. They probably needed money or they wanted to record the whole encounter to use it against her. I fucking went over there and even fucking brought coffee! And I brought weed. But then I turned your fucking phone on. Ask me what I want. Like, ask me, like, what do you want? Like, basically, like, make it seem like we're going, like, things are okay. And then I leave. And then I call you on the phone I pay for. For you to be able to communicate with your fucking family. And you don't answer it. I call him, he doesn't answer the phone. He gets Debbie to fucking message me. Gaul you gave him the phone to contact you not his damn family lol stop trying to act sympathetic. She went to the police when she was angry and it is very clear that she regrets that she went there. Chanta lives in her own world. She went to the police for protection but she is going back to his place and tries to buy him again with coffee and weed. This doesn't make any sense. Like he didn't have a phone this whole time. Like so what you're just using DD shit? Like that's why you emotionally torture me and like lead me on like this behind the scenes and have me come over you're a fucking liar you know what you told me once i remember this you'll never forget me in fact you'll be like delphine number two and you will end up calling the cops on me and you will end up paying for my lawyer against you see Gauls, he wanted to meet her in person so that there is no proof of it and he was probably asking for money for his lawyer against chantal chantal will probably do just that because she wants him to forgive her and you, Dee Dee, I don't fucking understand you. You have no brain in your head. You are a fucking bitch. I hate you. You too have to do it on fucking purpose to drive me nuts. I don't like Dee Dee at all. I think she is a pathetic attention-seeking loser just like Chantal. But hearing Chantal blame her for her situation is ridiculous. She should thank her, because if it wasn't for Dee Dee she would still be with Nader and we are all tired to this season. We need new material. And now I look crazy, and that's what you fucking want. I'll be crazy any day of the week over a cold-hearted fucking soulless piece of fucking shit like yourself. The detective called me. When did you see him? I didn't see him today. I'm legally going there. He was the one legally wrong. He was told not to be around her and he did it anyway. Well, I got in trouble too for going there. I got in trouble too. Why are you going there? <sighs> yes, I went to the USA after leaving the house yesterday. That's right, Olivia. That's precisely what happened. Chantal said that the detective called her and told her open quote, why are you going there? That means that they are watching all her live streams, which is very unlikely, lol. Like it, that's why I'm telling you. That's why I made those tears. I cannot promise you I won't fucking do something. I don't know, like, you people expect, like, I'm not fucking human. Like, that's what you expect from me. Like, that's exactly how it is. And of course, she rages at her viewers and starts blocking anyone who goes against her. And there are tons of apps that he can use to call Texas family but self service. Please don't use that as a reason to pay his cell bill. Honestly, I did it so I could keep in contact with him. And then he had the nerve to like, be like, but I can't, I can get in trouble for talking to you, but I was over there. Penguin. Sorry for my ass. <laughs> I have a penguin ass. Penguin ass. I do. It's like droopy. I used to have a nice ass. I'm going to work on my ass. I love the little rose. I love roses. Ugh. Um, it turns out flowers don't flush. 
They don't flush down the toilet. Do you know the muffin man, the muffin man, the muffin man? Do you know the muffin man who lives on Drury Lane? Yes, we know the muffin man, the muffin man, the muffin man. All joking aside, I do feel like he does have feelings for me. The problem with that?